So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So, uh, welcome back to Comageddon. Um, I'm here in Lincoln, waiting on my brother, uh, who just text messaged me. Um, we're uh, he's coming from Springfield. I came from Decatur, oh, and uh, we're gonna be watching. We're gonna watch the new Wolverine movie, Logan. Uh, it's supposed to be Hugh Jackman's last time as Wolverine. Unless, of course, Marvel gets the rights back, which I highly doubt. But that's besides the point. Uh, we will more than likely do a re review together after the movie. Uh, right now I'm just killing time. Uh, I got here a little bit early. He's on his way, so... Yeah. Just waiting for him. The movie starts at 8. It's 6.30 now. Um, he told me to meet him here at 7. So um, so that we'd be early. So that we could make sure and get uh, get in to see the uh, movie. So yep, I'll be back with my review and probably his review too. Alright guys. So um, just finished watching the movie. And, um, it's, uh, kind of disappointing, really. Um, it reminded me a lot of a Mad Max movie. Very slow. Um, it left a lot very ambiguous. Um, pretty much, uh, Okay, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, uh, both Wolverine and Professor Xavier die. Uh, Xavier dies halfway through, Wolverine dies at the end. Um, the bald, uh, really pale guy from the previews, um, that's Caliban. And he's, he's helping Wolverine keep Professor Xavier's uh, illness under control. Basically, if he, he it, it left it very ambiguous on what exactly was causing Xavier to degenerate. He's 90 years old in the movie. But they kind of hint at the uh, legacy virus. They hint at a mutant form of Alzheimer's. Um, and Wolverine basically has adamantium po poisoning. His healing factor has been working overboard for so long, it's now starting to burn itself out from dealing with the adamantium poisoning he has, which is why he's not healing the way he used to. Uh, it's also how he ends up dying. He has to fight a clone of himself, not X-23. Um, it's kind of hinted at that he might that the clone might kind of be a version of D uh, Dakin, Deacon, however you say his name. Very odd. I may pick this back up again tomorrow once I have a chance to sit on it and think about it for a little bit. Um, and then I'll go ahead and upload it onto Comageddon and uh, share it with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, it's the next morning. I've had a chance to think about the movie a little bit more. Um, it starts out, Wolverine, or Logan, is now a limousine driver. He owns this limo. He's trying to save up enough money to get a Sunseeker boat, 
for him and Chuck. Um, Caliban is assisting Wolverine. Um, I don't know much about Caliban other than he can track other mutants, but in the movie, he's very allergic to sunlight. Uh, it, it burns him almost immediately, just like a vampire. Uh, Xavier has um, has this disease that causes him to have uh, um, basically lose control of his powers, and anyone within a certain radius just nearly dies from it. It's hinted at that a year before the movie starts, uh, this happened for the first time at the Xavier Institute, and he killed all the uh, mutants at the school. Uh, it's hinted at that, but they never really come out and say it directly. Um, Wolverine is sick. He's going through adamantium poisoning. His body's been working, or his feel healing factor's been working overtime all these years. Um trying to keep the adamantium poisoning at bay. It's finally starting to burn itself out. Um, it, it was just, it was a very slow movie. The only redeeming qualities it had was the action sequences with X-23 and the Wolverine clone. Um, it's revealed that X-23 isn't exactly a clone of Wolverine. Uh, it, she's his daughter, um, created in a laboratory. Um, they didn't really say who the mother was or anything like that. Um, Xavier reveals that it's very... Um, it's very... Or the reason she, she has two claws on the front and a claw on her each foot is because in a lion's pride, the uh, female lions not only hunt, but they also care for the cubs. So they use their feet to defend when they're caring for the cubs and their front to attack. So that's why she's got the two claws in their hands and then one on each foot. It's very, I didn't care for it. Um, they leave a lot very ambiguous, which I'm not sure if we'll see in the deleted scenes or not. Um, honestly, X-Men Origins Wolverine was a much better movie, to be completely honest. Uh, this, it, it, don't waste your money going to the theater to see it. Um. Wait until it comes out on digital, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, and uh, rent it then. Maybe add it to your collection, but it definitely is not worth going to see in the theater. Um, my, my brothers and I and my brother's friend and my nephew, we all went to see it last night, and we all thought the same thing. We were all very disappointed in the movie. Um couple people that uh were sitting in the same row as us they watched the movie twice we went to the second showing they went to the first and second um just to see if they'd like it better the second time around they said there is no post credit scene um there is right before the movie starts um kind of a teaser for deadpool 2 it's not an official trailer it's more like kind of part of the uh, Logan movie, I guess. Um, but it's Deadpool's walking down the street, uh, listening to his music in regular street clothes with his hood up. And this old guy's getting attacked in an alley. Uh, he takes his earbuds out, sees what's going on, runs to a phone booth, <laughs> gets changed in a phone booth. And it's this whole uh, long... Uh, change scene where he, he presses his ass up against the uh, the uh, 
windows of the uh, phone booth and everything as he's trying to get changed, and it takes him forever, and by the time he's done, the guy is dead, and the crooks escape and everything, and um, on the phone booth, there's a nice little uh, nod to Cable, it says, uh, Nate Sum or yeah, Nathan Summers coming uh, soon, but the way it's said is coming, spelled coming like ejaculation. So <clears throat> that was kind of funny. But other than that, you know, like I said, don't waste your money going to the theater to see it. It sucked. Um, they they could have done so much better as Hugh Jackman's final film. In, or final time as Wolverine, they didn't. There were so many stories they could have chosen, they didn't. I just, I wouldn't recommend it at all. of course if you like this video make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the like comment below and share with your friends <laughs> i hate you